Hello, and welcome to a catalog flip through. So this is a catalog from from American Girl. This is from July 2018, as you can see. And this is one of, I have like 16 of these catalogs, I swear to God. I ordered a bunch of Luciana stuff, and that's what I got these with. So, for instance, this was talking about all the summer stuff and all the hype around it. This is also around the time uh, the Create Your Own line was introduced. There's a lot of hype for that. Here's what the Truly Me lineup looks like. This isn't all of them, I know that for a fact, but this is what a lot of them, what they looked like at the time in the meat outfit. Very nostalgic. I remember I was trying to find one that looked like me and I didn't find a single one in here. And I'm not that unique looking, so I don't know how that's possible. Ooh, look, a glimpse at the original meat outfits for the Create Your Own line. That is super cool. I always wanted to try this t-shirt one, but I couldn't bring myself to pay that much money. <laughs> I still want to try it. Maybe I'll make one for my channel. How about that? Should I? You know what? Comment if I said try to make one of these for my channel. Um, because that would be kind of fun. So, this is one where advertising some of the newer Truly Me sets they had at the time. So, there's some stuff for the boys, which are relatively new. I believe they came out the year this was released. Yeah, so the boys are new. And then it's like, pick confidence. And I loved the sped as in the concept. I always kind of wanted it. And little braces are just cute to me. I was told to get braces that year. I didn't get them. I still don't have braces. Here's one of the, here's a lemonade stand. And this was the original RC car. Or I guess this might be the second generation. I don't know how many there is, but this is at least one of them. This might be the second RC car they have. This thing can drive itself, I think. Yeah, the, the car, I think it's an RC car. Yep. <laughs> Super fun. Here is the scheming setup, which um, I think this item it was or is on the last chance outlet right now. So that's kind of interesting. And I remember really, really wanting this item. I don't even know how to play video games and I wanted it. Also, the chameleon disturbs me. It's in way too small of a cage. I mean it, like, really? So there is, here's the gymnastic stuff that they had around this time with all the different outfits and some of the other sports. He looks like this really cool ballet one. I kind of, I kind of missed out by not getting it. But I'm a girl of the year collector, so that's how it goes. I also, here's some more sportsy things with, I love this outfit, by the way, too. Like, that was one I also loved. Obviously, the other sports don't really ramp up individually. And then here's some, another one for some of their STEM-based stuff and also, like, the crutches. So you can see all these. I loved these. I wanted these. This book right here to go with Luciana. <laughs> Look at it. I wanted that so bad, that craft book. I didn't get it, but I wanted it. I guess I wanted the hamster, but I know too much about hamster care and it disturbs me now. <laughs> it's just in too small of a cage. Here's, like, the Volcano set, which is another one I wanted. It actually worked, but I definitely would have made a mess with it if I used it. Girl getaways. Whenever you wonder. Wander, it's better together. So this was the hotel. I remember this hotel being super neat to me, because, like, I think this... Like, look how cute that was. All the stuff it came with and all the accessories that go with it. Here is... Where girls can be girls, generation after generation. So this is another little intro. I love pre-filming these. So this is like a really cute photo, honestly, because that's probably like a grandparent, a grandchild, and maybe a friend. Here's some little accessories that they sold separate, you know, that are sort of cheaper. I really want those earrings right here. They're there. So yeah. So sorry. Here is my... Here's the pajama set, and I really, really loved these balloon ones. I didn't get them, and I still regret that. I love They look so sage-like. They actually look more sagey than Sage's pajamas. And I also have Luciana's pajamas, which I never did a review on, even though I ordered them. Because in the beginning of my channel, I wasn't really good at that, but I have those too. This is the Be Forever advertising page, and then there's a little timeline with most of the available characters. I think that's all of them at the time. Um, except Logan. They left him off, so not all of them, now I'm thinking about it. And there's this lovely Kaya image, which is super quintessential in my mind when I think of Think about Kaya. Oh, yes. So here's the Luciana section. This section I cared about more than anything in these catalogs because I was collecting her whole thing. So here's Miss Luciana. You, I remember I was like, I saved $5. I'm so proud. My dad actually got her for me. And here's all of her books. And then you could, as the girl says, accessories. This is just a little advertisement. And here's the little flight suits from the camp, which are really cute, which I, both me and my sister have those. The next page has her Starry Night outfit. I love this. This is my favorite outfit from her collection, hands down. Then uh, It's close to the Stellar outfit, but this is still better. I also have this, which is really cool. We got, My dad got it for me because we joined AJ Rewards. I also have the table and the dog. I never got the lander. I always wanted the lander, but I never got it, and I'm very... I knew I couldn't store it, so that's why I didn't. 
So here's one about the contemporary characters. So here's the tiny advertising page. So it says all four of her books, and then both her and Logan and the special earrings. And then their stage set and her lovely little performance outfit. I always loved this. I also like that Logan has a little denim jacket. It's like his only accessory. The next page is one that advertises Mary Ellen. So it says her Be Forever books, her dog, this little set here, which I think is actually retired already, which is weird to me. I felt so new. Here's her camper. It even has like... The next page is Miss Nenea, one of my faves of the time. I really loved hers. I think she actually had a stop motion, a few stop motion promotional videos that I remember loving watching. I also think there's a really cute collection. Like, look at that. Oop, I skipped a page. Next is Kit Kitridge with her Be Forever stuff before most of it was retired. This was retired. I swear, this stuff retired really quickly right here. I think they cubed it in the next year or so after they released it. So obviously you can see all of her Be Forever books, which are not very popular. And this outfit, which I loved as well, but I never, never got. Because I, I was a girl year collector, as you all know. Here's Rebecca Rubens, which ironically, I think this was still available. It, for all I know, it's retired and I missed it somehow. But this is a really neat little outfit. And it says her Be Forever books. And one of my faves is here. It's Miss Melody. I love Melody's story. I remember the one. So they released for her being really, really cool to me. If you hear meowing, that's my cat. This is Julie Albright, caring for the environment and everyone else's and everyone else responsibly so like this is her whole thing and these are mostly be forever outfits like this is this one and this one yeah are very be forever i really love this one though i think it seems a really cute like i really like the cover of this book i can't explain why but it's giving like why a novel <laughs> save the eagles eagles are awesome by the way here's a bitty baby section i was never a bitty baby collector, obviously. But I won't deny that they're really cool in concept and a great idea. And there's also... And there's these all little outfits. I always thought this one was cute because it was a butterfly, if you can tell. And here is, like, they have the diaper bag. The Welly Whistlers, which I remember... I really like these guys. These are in their, like, first meet outfits, which are very quintessential Willy we well Welly Whistlers. <laughs> Welly Whistlers. I have a hard time saying that's kind of a tongue twister. But I really think of these ones when I think of them because I was around for their initial release and you can also explore on Amazon Prime at the time their series. I think you can also watch this on Tubi now. And like these were really cute. I really like this set for some reason. Also I thought it was interesting that at the time they didn't have free shipping on everything but the, the Welly Whistlers had free shipping when this was released. Obviously some more cute outfits. This one's on the Last Chance outlet by the way. I think it might sell out finally. It's been there for like a year I swear. And I remember that if there's nothing else I really liked from the Welly Whistlers at the time, it was this horse. I loved this horse so much. It was super cute. Obviously, they have little swim sets. I think they kind of did a revamped version of this outfit. And I really like this outfit because it's the most normal one out of the Welly Whistler group. Like, I could see most kids wearing that normally. All the rest of it is very imaginative play. I also thought the chicken was cute, although I don't understand this coop design. Like, is the fox going to eat the chicken? I know it's kind of a dark thing to say for this, but like, yeah... And then that brings us to the very back, which shows everything on here. So yeah, luckily not all these have like Kurt Resident or anything on there. And that's very good. I really, really loved going through this with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. I will do come back next Thursday for another catalog flip through.